Hey everybody, Greg here, and I am riding up the uh, hill here with, I'll show you behind me, is the new art building you can see there. And this is River Street. Let me turn the camera around. So in this short video being recorded on the 29th of August, 2017, Tuesday, I'm going to show you how to get from this what would be considered West Campus area, the arts area, going up River Street. Let me just kind of zoom in on the sign there so you can get an idea of where we're at, River and Ellis. And we're going to take River, and ultimately this will take us over to the uh, stadium and over to University Heights, further west in Iowa City. So there are a few routes you could take. One route would be you could try to kind of make your way up Riverside Drive, head north, or as we're doing here, we're going to take kind of a shortcut. Now that hill heading up River Street is a little bit challenging, so, you know, depending on what kind of gearing you have on your bike, you may want to walk that one. So other than that initial hill though, this route tends to be fairly flat. And usually it's pretty quiet and relatively uh, free of traffic most times during the day. Coming up here on the left is a tree removal project. It's going to get a little bit noisy, but we're just going to ride on by. So. So as we continue on river, eventually the road will uh, end at this T intersection, or it'll appear to come to an end here. And this is a good spot to know about because if we were to turn right and kind of continue in the same direction, following uh, here where River and Wolf are, River Street takes a jog here and continues, you'll see, down that way. But we're going to turn left. Now, had we turned right, we could take River all the way down to the Iowa River and follow that over to Coralville. There's a nice ride that way and, and pretty nice sidewalk. But instead, we're going to turn on Wolf Avenue and at this point we're basically heading south
I'm going to jump up on the sidewalk here and just give you a visual of this uh, overpass, which is really quite nice and wide. This bridge was renovated at some point in the not too distant past. You can see it has the uh, newer, wider sidewalk. And what we're looking at here, looking west, is the traffic heading from Coralville into Iowa City. The VA hospital is here, and we're just going to continue across this overpass. There's often a lot of foot traffic here on this sidewalk, and it is narrow. So as long as it's not uh, too busy with traffic, being in the street is a, a better option just so you don't run into, uh, you know, get in the way of pedestrians. Now coming up here, we can either turn left and go down the hill and kind of cut through over toward the hospital, or we can turn right, and that's what I'm gonna do here. We can cross the street and continue on the sidewalk. The building in front of us is the dental building. And quite often when you come to this street, you'll see very little traffic here. So that's sort of a plus. And now, with the dental college on our left, following this sidewalk, there's actually a nice shortcut through the dental college. And the sidewalks here do have the ramp so you can easily uh, just kind of glide on down here. And most of the day, it's pretty quiet here, so it makes a nice shortcut through the dental college area. There's the main entrance. And we're just gonna cut over here toward the circular area, you know, the drop-off pickup area, and follow this around. So what we want to do is we want to be on the other side of this parking lot. And that's pretty easy to do here. We can just zip on through. There's actually a, a dropped gate there to block car traffic, but bicycles can kind of make their way through here pretty easily. And again, there will be at the other end of this parking lot, this parking area, there will be another gate that we can ride around. So what this has done is it's really saved us from going up some unnecessary hills. And we're now over by the Kinnick Stadium, which you'll see pretty soon here on the left coming up. And you want to obey the uh, traffic signal here because it gets pretty busy on Hawkins Drive. So, to the left, in the distance, you can see the University Hospital, and through the trees there, you can kind of see Kinnick Stadium. I'm going to get a little closer to that. And there are some other sports facilities here on this route that we're cutting through, this shortcut.
directly to the left is an interesting building architecturally and it's the transportation hub here at the hospital area and I'll give you a better view of that here in a minute so again this building to the left transportation hub where the University of Iowa Canvas stops and then here ahead of us pretty massive structure is the stadium This parking is used for game days, but it's also used by hospital staff when there are not games going on. So we're just gonna kind of drive through here. nice view of the stadium so on the right here you'll often find that there is some kind of project going on That area back there is where the train arrives from Coralville when people are coming into town or you know parking in the Coralville area there's a train you can ride on to get over here to the stadium and uh, what you saw earlier with people putting up a fence or a guardrail there was to provide some area for people to wait and to get in line for those who are going to the game. So we came from the stadium parking area. I took the gravel rather than this congested busy road and we're going to turn right here on Melrose Avenue and take this overpass bridge which goes over the railroad and that's where the train comes in on game days you can see those platforms where people can get off the train stairs people go up and then uh, that's where the guardrail is being put in so this makes a nice alternative shortcut for people wanting to get from that sort of arts campus, west campus, along the river, over here to the west side. I'm gonna point out this is 1006 Melrose Avenue, that's Stella, which is a really nice neighborhood bar and restaurant. And I'm going to keep the video going here a little bit. I'm going to finish it off up at uh, the One University Place area. nice pine trees along through here and this is a 
sidewalk that was widened specifically for cyclists and pedestrians to have more room. As we crossed that bridge back there and approached Stella, that was, uh, we were entering into the University Heights neighborhood, which is not just a neighborhood, it's actually an incorporated municipality. So it's a city within a city. They have their own city council and mayor and such. Right now, it's just before four o'clock. And a weekday, Tuesday. So we're gonna start seeing some afternoon rush hour traffic start to pick up about this time. From the perspective of the video, it probably is hard to tell how steep this hill is. It's actually not too steep going from Stella along Melrose Avenue up, heading west here, reaching Sunset Street, but it's a slow grade. So you're just gonna be pedaling and pedaling and pedaling non-stop to get to this point and uh, normally I would advise against crossing a street on the red but to the right you can see there's no traffic it's a very quiet neighborhood and no more traffic coming from the left so here we've reached one university place as you can see and uh, it's a new development in the area which has uh, condos available and eventually will be featuring some retail and business offices here on the first level Maggie's wood-fired pizza. Definitely worth checking out. And there's another view of that. Now, being Tuesday, you see the signs here. University Heights has their farmer's market. So um, here we have a familiar and uh, 
easy to spot landmark, the entrance to Finkbine Golf Course. Sign here pointing to the bike trail that continues on. And uh, we also passed, as you saw along the way, a couple of other west side landmarks that are good places to uh, take a break. The One University Place with Maggie's Farm Fresh Pizza there, and then Stella's was a little bit earlier. And from those locations, uh, you can, for example, here you can head south on Sunset, which we just crossed back there. Um, and from Stella, you can also cut through the University Heights neighborhood and make your way over to West Benton. So um, I'm pointing out these locations because of their you know, usefulness for that reason. And uh, anyway, thanks for watching the video. Appreciate all the support. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, always happy to get those. So have a great day.